Hello friends, welcome back to another video. If you are new here, I'm Megan, and here we talk about all things books, writing, grammar, and more. If you haven't already, please make sure to give this video a like, and don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Today I'm doing another tag video. This is the if I weren't an author tag, which sounded really fun. I will link all the questions in the original video down in the description box below. Now before we jump in, I wanna give you guys a really cool update that I just learned about last week. So about a month ago, I entered my very first writing contest. The contest was through Daily Prompt. There are about 52-ish entries, I believe, and my story won first place. I was so stunned by that, and I just wanted to share the good news with all of you. So if you want to read that story, I'm going to have it up on my website, meganaldridge.com, sometime this week. Okay, so let's get into the questions for the if I were not an author tag. Number one, what would be your creative outlet? I would have a ton of creative outlets. It might be photography, crafts, music, language, drawing or painting. I would pick one of my other hobbies and go with that. Number two, would you still do YouTube? I doubt that I would still do YouTube. I joined YouTube for the author and writer community. So if I weren't a writer, then I wouldn't need my channel. So I mean, I would still be on YouTube and, and watching videos. Maybe one of like my other creative outlets would do, but I probably would not be on YouTube. Number three, what would your new dream job be? Assuming it currently is to be a full-time author. So yes, my dream is definitely to be a full-time author. So if I were not an author, my dream job would be... I would still be doing my proofreading, but I would definitely have to have more of the creativity in there. So I would definitely pick one of the hobbies that I mentioned earlier and just like focus all my attention on that. I don't think that I've shared this with all of you yet, but when I was in eighth grade, I was voted into my yearbook hall of fame as most creative. So I would have to do something in the arts for sure. Number four, would you still consume author content? No. <laughs> uh, the reason I consume author content is to grow myself as an author. So if I weren't an author, I would not need the content. Number five, how many friends would you not have made? A ton. Even for my small channel, I have met so many amazing people and I love this community that I'm a part of and that we're building on my channel. And yeah, I just love all of my writer friends. So I'd be very sad if I was not friends with you guys. Number six, would you still read as much as you do now? I would read way more than I do right now. I feel like I don't really have time to read published novels right now. My TBR is backtracked for sure. My writing and my business and reading for critique partners and beta readers and everything else I have going on. So yes, I would read a ton more than I do right now. Number seven, which part about being an author would you miss the most? I would miss getting my stories out. I have so many stories up here and to not be able to like get them out and share them and create these worlds, it would make me really sad. I'm gonna cheat and throw another one in there, but I would miss this community too. There are so many of you that I have made great friendships with. I would miss that sense of community that I have here on YouTube. Number eight, how different would your life look in general? I don't think my life would look like crazy different than what it is right now. Like I said, I would replace writing with some sort of other creative business. So it would just be like shifting all of my focus from writing onto whatever that creative business would be. So that might look like photos or crafts or music or whatever. Instead of writing, I would still be working the same amount of hours. I would absolutely still be working for myself. So I don't think totally different. I mean, I just, I wouldn't be on YouTube. I wouldn't have this community. I would just be doing creativity somewhere else in my life. All right, so there you have it, the if I weren't an author tag. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more bookish and writing related videos. Thanks for being here and I'll see you next time. Bye.